Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I am in Lemmy Beach once again. I'm going to actually be doing a trail today and show you guys how one of the easier trails that you could do here in Rio. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful day. Uh, slightly hot, but it's, it's okay. It's a beautiful day to do a trail. Um, this one is going up that mountain, as you can see behind me. Um, it's actually a military fort. Um, I believe the admission is free, so you just have to basically, I think, wear a mask when you're going up. I'm gonna use a mask when I go inside. After that, I'm gonna take it off. I, I don't see a point of wearing it when it's hot and there's no one around. But that's just my opinion. So let's go, and I'll show you how to get in and how it's gonna look from uh, the view from the top. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's go. So the entrance is just over here. Last time I went up, I don't think I had to pay anything. And this is a park here for kids in the area. Much different uh, temperature than it was yesterday. I think it was like 22 Celsius. Today it's about 29. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film here, so... Let's find out. Boa tarde. Tudo bem? É para subir no, no fort? Se eu só se você direção naquele porto de garagem lá aberto, é. a vinha. Tá bom, ingresso tá de graça? Ah, tá bom, lá em cima, tá bom. So I'm back. I wasn't allowed to film at the front of the of the fort. That's okay. I understand. 1880 to 1980, so it's over 100 years old. This fort. Parking lot area, that's where we're going, to the top. So I might have to turn off again when I'm going up these steps because they think they don't like to be filmed, the military, which is fine. I'll see you guys at the top of these stairs, okay? Okay, so continuing on the trail. Normally I recommend people wearing uh, running shoes or some type of comfortable shoes. I am not on the other hand. I'm wearing flip-flops. I just feel it's too hot for me to wear uh, running shoes right now. Plus this trail is not that difficult, to be honest. It's much nice and cooler in the shade. <laughs> nice and cool. So there are many, many different trails around the city. Uh, quite a few actually. This is one of the easier ones, as I said earlier. So if you don't, if you want to challenge, try another one, but this is still worth going up because it has an amazing view and you can take nice photos, some film. It's awesome. I don't know how many times I've done this one. Probably like four or five times since coming here, since coming to Rio. There's not really much to see on the trail. You will see some nature and whatnot. Yeah, as I said, I couldn't film a small portion of the entranceway because it's a military uh, base and they don't want to be on film. So just keep that in mind when you come to film here, if you, if you want to film. I believe this trail takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes at a decent pace. 
so. I'm probably about a quarter of the way up now. Um, one thing to know about this trail, it's not really steep. I would say going down is probably more difficult than going up. Especially if you're in flip-flops like I am today. I don't think I'm gonna record going down because you've seen pretty much everything going up. So yeah, um, make sure that you're in pretty good shape for any trail. I do exercise every week, a couple times a week. I don't find the time enough probably, but uh, this trail will definitely show you if you're fit or not. Um, make sure you bring some water or, or have some water before you leave. It's a good idea. So otherwise you can get dehydrated, especially in a hot sunny day like today. Let's just turn back around here. So these are some of the monkeys you'll see on the trail. It's called Miku. It, there it is. Let's resume. I've only seen three people so far. Uh, another person coming up. Fridays are probably not the busiest to go up the trail. You can even hear the sea from here. The waves crashing. Pretty steep there. That's another thing I noticed about Brazilian culture is people will say, will greet you, say hello, chat with you. My own experience in Canada, it's very rare, especially amongst like younger people. Um, I don't know if this is the same in the US, I'm guessing it depends on the state that you go to in the US. But in Canada, generally nobody, if people walk by, yeah, they, will, they won't say good morning. It's usually the older people from the older generation that are much more friendly in Canada. We'll, we'll say hello to you, even if they don't know you, just passing by. So when I was in Canada last summer, which would be July 2020, I walked by a woman and, and I found it very strange that she said good morning. Because <laughs> it's, it's that rare that people do that. I'm hoping I get a good view on the way up here. Usually you can see on the side some of the, the ocean or whatever. So here's one of the views that I was saying you could get from here along the way. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to go up to Sugarloaf Mountain, um, it has an even better view uh, at the top of the ocean. And you, in fact, there's a bar restaurant, so you could sit there having a drink or eating something while checking out the view. I spent like probably two hours up there. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the bill was. I don't remember. <laughs> so when we get to the top, um, there'll be a really, really nice view all around. And I believe there's also a museum I'll show you guys as well. I mainly go for the view at this point. The museum is worth it for the first time if you go there the first time, but if you come a second time, I don't, you've already seen it, you know? So once you've come once, you've seen it all, but the view never gets boring, that's for sure. So finally reaching the top. And there's some monkeys.
Fort Duke de Caxias. Look at that view. Holy shit. And that's where I was, what I was talking about is the uh, Sugarloaf Mountain View. Right up there. There's a bar restaurant right in the middle. <laughs> can't beat this view, honestly, honestly, God. Now let's see the grand view of the mall. No, 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 no. No until filming. But I just say. He <laughs> said, you can film me, but I'll I'll charge you for it. <laughs> uh, and I said, no, no, I'm not filming. I said, I'm just joking. I know. <laughs> uh, you gotta love Brazilian humor here. Look at that. Unfortunately, it's cloudy and you can't see the Christ statue, but that's okay. Like, you can see the favela there. This favela is called Babylonia. And that's in Lemmy. Like that's crazy view. So let's go check out the museum. I wouldn't say it's really a museum, it's more like a fort with a lot of different
one thing's for sure, you don't get this stuff in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's some nice places to go and do trails and whatnot there, but not like this. And for free. So I'm gonna head down. the other side of the fort here. So I came up to the other side of the fort here. I had to change the battery again. Uh, and I always forget to ask you guys, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Check that bird out. Looks like a... What do you call those birds? That scavengers. Can't remember. <laughs> so I was I was mistaken. There's no museum in this at this fort. That would be the Fort Copacabana. So just to make a correction. Highly recommend coming here, that's for sure. Make sure you get here at least once if you're visiting here. Um, highly recommend it. If you're living here, you can make time for it, but it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. I just want to take one last shot of me behind before I head down, because I deserve a glass, a tall glass of cold water, ice cold water. All right, let's make our way down. Can't go down the steps. Well guys, that, that, that's about does it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the view here. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the, the fort, uh, Kashias Fort here in Lemmy. And I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you already have subscribed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.